insurance is a contractual relationship which exists whereby a party known as the insurer undertakes to indemnify the other party known as insured for lost upon a consideration known as premium furnished by insured consideration consideration we said it is must be something of value in exchange in exchange for something for promise made consideration consideration there's no way you talk about contract without consideration is more it is the soul of the contract it's what vitalizes a contract because when you talk about a contract and you're not talking about consideration what is what are you giving can you are you doing it for free no then your consideration becomes something of value could be money in exchange something you can give in exchange for execution of a contract in this in in for insurance premium is what you pay the insured or the assured pay in exchange for protection from loss when we talk about indemnify to indemnify, indemnify insurance indemnity that is to put back an insured in the possession the insured was before a loss occurred for example motto accident if an insured that has a comprehensive motor insurance damages the vehicle of a third party it is incumbent upon the insurer the insurer is the insurance company why the insured is the client as we mentioned in one of our chapters referred to as the one who is under protection up by paying premium filling necessary documentation proposal form which is more or less an offer there's an acceptance the insurance company accepts your offer upon furnishing them re relevant information relevant information relevant to aid the underwriter the underwriter are the ones in an insurance company when the underwriter anyways all on the insurance company are underwriting firms all insurance companies are underwriting firms they are the one that evaluates a proposal being made by the insured so the insurance company they fix condition they fix the price they fix warranty and they manage the portfolio of an insurance company in an insurance company all policies as is or own you know its portfolio all policies motor motor insurance fire burglary professional indemnity employer liability group personal accident these are portfolios managed by an underwriter that is why an underwriter often called prudent underwriter because they must be prudent in their activities in accepting to place cover to place cover so to have proper understanding of 
insurance as a whole. Um, all these concepts are necessary for us to have um, full assimilation of this um, topic, um, insurance. It's very interesting. Um, we've talked about indemnity. We've talked about the insurer. Talk about the who the insured is. We talk about the underwriter. Are the people that evaluate um, fixed policy conditions and then terms, um, accept pol insurance policies, fix insurance premium, manage the portfolio. And I've been able to establish that we have fire portfolio, we have motto, we have burglar, burglary, we have group personal accident GPA, we have professional indemnity. Professional indemnity insurance. We have we have several. We have um, um, we have public liability insurance. We have several building under construction insurance. We have um, engineering insurance. Several, several. We have, you know, so this each of these policies has a portfolio because insurance is more or less a pool of fund. People coming together, the insured who are the clients, they come together to contribute towards it. Everybody requires requesting for motor insurance will contribute to this pool, this portfolio. It is the underwriters that help them manage this portfolio so that it will run the portfolio won't run to a loss. If we have hundred people in this category of insurance and they have contributed their premium valuing hundred million, the underwriter will ensure that this money is well managed such that in the event of loss because loss is actually when what triggers insurance itself when one of these people the insured gets involved in an accident a vehicle accident then it triggers the essence of insurance that is when you talk about claims payments the insured make claim when you report a loss oh my his vehicle was in, mr hey vehicle was involved in an accident he reports to the insurance company immediately what is seeking is indemnity. Please put my vehicle in the position back to the position it was before the loss, premised on the condition that Mr. A, the assured, has satisfied the condition premise seated in the insurance contract. Remember, insurance also is a contract between the insurer and the assured. They are do's and don'ts. They are exclusions. They are exemptions in insurance contracts. So what insurance pay, especially, especially when it is a non-life insurance company or general business insurance company, the same thing. When you say non-life or general business insurance, This class of insurance company deals with war, all what I've mentioned here. These classes of insurance, they don't deal with life directly except for GPA. GPA sometimes could be partly general life. As it may seem, professional indemnity is liability, professional liability. Exact, for example, a doctor, a lawyer, you know, 
a lawyer giving you a wrong advice, a doctor giving you a wrong description, causing, resulting to death or disability on the part of the client. If it reveals, investigation reveals that it was what the doctor prescribed wrongfully that led to that crisis, the, the doctor becomes liable, then this policy is therefore triggered. The insurance company comes into play to pay damages. It's a civic wrong. You know, civic law wrongs are um, often in form of damage. You pay damage, you pay fine. So, let's continue. Insurance distinguished from assurance. Yes, there is need to go back to this. We talked about non-life general business. They are the same. When you hear non-life, but in the part of the world, we call it general business insurance. Mostly, most of the policies under general business non-life are inanimate policies. Like fire, like burglary, like... Though, some of the conditions, things they cover, it could cover life. But directly, what they cover most times are mostly inanimate objects. When you look, take a costly look at it. Cover motto, they cover fire, they cover your building, they cover your content, they cover, you know. But the cover could extend. Like, if, for example, if an insured vehicle kills a pedestrian, while in the course of driving, the insurance policy covers such. But the insurance, this policy is covering the vehicle not the person now is the vehicle this vehicle not that the person will go and the, the owner of the vehicle packs his vehicle goes to kill another is the person is not covered it is the owner of the vehicle driving that vehicle and injuring or killing another person that is when the insurance policy comes into effect so another class is we have life there are, some ins- there are some insurance companies in Nigeria. What they are, this kind of insurance, if a company is practicing, is only selling live, transacting general business insurance alone, they are classified as specialists. Specialist insurance company. Any this life as well, this with human itself, you can insure your life. You can insure the life of your children. And it is more or less investment insurance also. Apart from the live aspect, it it, 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 it deals with investments. So, any insurance company also that transacts just live insurance companies, live insurance businesses are also regarded as specialists. But any insurance company that transacts both like we have several in Nigeria, they are called composite insurance companies. Know that these are special. IGI is a specialized insurance company that is given. Composite insurance company like Lidway, Lidway transact both. They are called composite insurance company because they transact both live businesses and general business businesses so let's switch between insurance distribution from assurance insurance is different from assurance even though there is tendency to use both terms as synonyms or as being synonyms or synonyms whereas insurance contracts is intended to indemnify the insured against uncertain laws or damage that may occur or may not occur e.g. damage to property by fire fire contract of assurance is one in which the assured or his representative are to receive a sum of money on the occurrence of an event which is bound to happen at some times although the time of happening is 
on Saturday. E.G. Deaths. Assurance. Assurance. It deals with human. 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 Deals with human being. If for assurance, policy orders under this class of insurance are called assured. Who is covered? against debts against disability so that's that formalities although no strict formalities are required for the foundation of an insurance contract it requires that the general principle of a con contract to wait, offer acceptance, consideration, intention to create legal relation must be present before a valid contract can come into place. Same as I told you, same is applicable for insurance. Insurance is also a contract between the insured and the insurer it covers unforeseen loss occurrence In practice, the proposed insured person makes an offer to the insurer by completing what is called or known as proposal form. If the Insurer, we said insurer now is the insurance company, assent to the offer with a condition, e.g., that the contract would be subject to pure payment of premium. Then it said that the insurer makes a counter offer, in which case the tendering of the premium becomes an offer. So if a proposal is executed, filled, so sent to insurance company, the insurance company will make a counter offer. In terms of premium to be premium to be paid, if this premium is paid, then there is acceptance. The insurance contract comes into being and is received, evidenced by what is generally referred to as insurance. If this is paid, the consideration is this. The document itself, that is intention. Because you keep your, um, this is paid, proposal form is there, 